Hi Pioneer family, it's me John Filippiak, art teacher at the elementary schools. Hey, today we want to do a fun project, it's called origami, this Japanese paper folding. And a lot of you guys have already done origami, you might not know it. You've made paper airplanes, you've made cootie catchers, you've made little claws for your fingers, all that stuff's origami. And today I'm going to show you how to make a butterfly. And they're kind of fun to make, you need paper. And origami paper traditionally has printed or color on one side and it's white on the other. Now, if you don't have origami paper like I don't, I don't have it with me, it's at school. I went around the house and I found some different um, scrapbook paper my daughter had. I found some wrapping paper in a closet. I pulled that out. If you need to use just plain computer paper, you can use that too. The only thing, it does have to be square. Now this paper that I pulled out of for scrapbooking is not square, obviously it's a rectangle. And a quick way to make a square is you fold it into kind of a triangle. Make sure the edge matches up nicely there. This is going to be wasted paper. And I'm going to just cut this off. Now if you don't have scissors handy, you can... You can kind of crease it and then tear it if you need to, but scissors work the best. And now I have my square. It's a perfect square. Now to start the butterfly, I already made the first fold. You're going to put your paper down. You're going to fold it corner to corner. Not in half, corner to corner. And it, I call it a taco fold. It kind of looks like a taco. And then the next fold is going to go sideways. And I'm still going to keep my triangle shape but now I have two folds. Now for the butterfly, I need to use a third one. So I'm gonna fold it a third time, and now I have what I need. I'm gonna open this up, and I should have my creases, and creases are very important in origami. And I, if you can't see it well, I kinda quickly drew the creases, there's gonna be an X, and then it's gonna be a cross. That's what your creases should look like. Now, there is a natural, this is the hardest step. If you need to pause the video, please pause. If you need to rewind, rewind. You're gonna look for the two sides that kind of start going together naturally. And these two are kind of them. They go together. I'm gonna pinch it here. And now I'm gonna squeeze it together. And it should start making my triangle. Look, I got a little problem here. That's okay, I'll fix it. Everything's fixable. And then I crease it out. It should look like this. And I'll do it again real quick. It folds together. I pinch it. And I squeeze it. Now I have my triangle. Now I'm going to set this down on my paper. I want the triangle pointing away from me. I'm going to take the top flap. Fold it towards the top. Until it matches there. And I'm going to crease it. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. Fold it to the top. Crease it. Now the next step is I'm going to take my triangle, flip it over, it's pointing towards me, and I'm going to just take the top section and fold it towards the, the flat edge. Now if these little ends here rip like this, that is perfectly okay. They kind of want it to be that way. Now I have it like this. Pick it up. I'm going to fold it together. Kind of pinch it, and I have my butterfly. It's kind of fun. I've made a, several already today. It's another one of those projects that's a little addicting. You can take your butterflies. I got different sizes, small ones. I just did a medium one. This one's a little larger. You can take them, add some masking tape or any kind of tape. You can tape them around your room. You can take a string, maybe tape it, hang it from a ceiling or a lamp, however you want. Have fun with this, like all the projects. There's, take your time, have fun, be creative, miss everybody. I hope we get back to see each other soon. Have a great day, guys. Bye.